Well, today kicks off Animal Control Officer Appreciation Week. These dedicated officers wear many different hats, but they're often the first line of defense for abused and neglected animals. They're also who you turn to when your beloved pet goes missing. It takes a special person to do this job, and it's why Jody Baird of Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control is positively Fort Wayne. Jody Baird, Animal Control Officer with Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control, and I've been with the establishment for 16 years. I own three dogs. All three of them are rescues from the shelter, two Bashans and a Chihuahua. I have small dogs because all day long I'm dragged around by big dogs. Good girl, come on. <laughs> you do have to be an animal lover. One of the things that we always hear is, is I love animals too much to do your job. Well, we love animals enough to make that difference. That a girl. We are all access shelter, so anything that is brought to the shelter, we accept. Uh, we don't get to put limits or stipulations on animals. 12 to 16. I honestly, before I started working at the shelter, didn't realize the amount of animals that come into the shelter and what good animals there are. Let's go. It's hard to see some of the things that we do. I, I cried during my interview. It was, it was, it was hard. But you know, you do over time start to realize that there are situations that animals, you know, are put into it, and it's sometimes the best thing for them. We're able to provide a new beginning and let them know that there are better situations for an animal to become part of a family. I'm Nine on Lombard. We no longer want to be the dog catcher that's seen in the cartoons, that's chasing the dogs down the street. You know, we want them to know that we are here to help. 12 to base. Um, food, water, shelter. Those are the minimum requirements for an animal within the city limits. Um, it should be requirements worldwide. The food, water, shelter. We can start by educating. May only help one or two a day. It helps. It helps. A good day is when you can resolve some situations, when you can drive past someone's house and say that dog that used to be chained out is now inside with the house. It's now living inside as an indoor dog. So that's always a good feeling. This is another good day. It's really good when the public sees you as a positive. Good morning. Good morning. And that helps. That helps when you can go out and, you know, wave politely to someone and they wave and say, hey, you had my dog last month, but you got him home. You know, so that, that makes you feel good. That makes you feel like you're doing something positive. Exactly. And boy, they do so much yeah. positive. Uh, we thank Jody and all mm -hmm. animal control officers for the great work that they do. And I think it's such unseen work too. So to bring a light to it, this this month is fantastic. Right, and they and they really deserve it. So if you happen to run into one yeah. or something like that, or shout out on Facebook or something along those lines, if you see this story, you want to comment yeah. and thank them. That would be a good Give way to thanks. to do that for so. sure. And one way you can help officers is to license and tag your pets. Microchipping is a great help if your pets do get lost. And also, when you're walking your dog, always keep that leash on. That was one that they really stressed. Yeah. So a lot of people think, oh, my dog's good, but then until it's not. Right. So to see more on this story and all of our Positively Fort Wayne stories, just head to Wayne.com, hit the news tab, and look for Positively Fort Wayne. And if you have a Positively Fort Wayne idea, send it to us. Just email positive at Wayne.com.